Welcome back, everyone. Just got off the radio. Uh, they were asking what our resolutions were going to be, and I said, uh, and my producers will love this, to do weather on time for a change. <laughs> Hear that laughter? <laughs> All right, I better get going, otherwise I'm going to go way over again. 19 is the current temperature in Waukesha. The wind chill is 11. Hey, at least it's warmed up a little. It was in the single digits just a few minutes ago. Uh, it's 8 in Whitewater. It feels like 9 in Watertown and 12 in Sheboygan. We got to enjoy some sun today. The clouds have rolled in here, but if you are having any travel plans this evening, no worries, they're just clouds, no precipitation falling from them whatsoever. This time tomorrow, however, I'll be standing outside in snow. It'll be snowing. Uh, Saturday flurries as well, and then a January thaw moves on in. Okay, this is what we're looking for for snow cover. It looks like about two inches of snow from this uh, from 94 south is likely. Maybe a three-inch total down towards Lake Geneva, Burlington, and Kenosha. One to two-inch amounts, Port Washington to West Bend, uh, over towards Watertown. And then less than an inch, Green Lake, Fond du Lac, and Sheboygan. As of right now, they might just get a dusting at best. I think two-inch snow totals would be very, very common with a couple of one-inch amounts to the north and a very few isolated three-inch amounts toward the state line. There's the cloud cover here locally. It's clear up in Green Bay in the north woods. We have no precipitation on the radar. Not the case, though, down to the south. Big rains, sleet, and snow. Texas is seeing heavy snow. You're saying, okay, it's snowing in Texas. Why do I care? You should, because that's the storm that's coming here for tomorrow. It'll be here before the noon hour, and we'll have some rains and sleet and snow along the lakefront and changing over to snow by afternoon. It is a quick mover, obviously. It's in Texas right now. It'll be here uh, in less than 12 hours or about 12 hours or so, and it's going to move out of here very quickly, so the snow totals are light. By noon, just a little bit of a rain-snow mix, and then changing over to all snow likely in the evening hours, and by midnight, it is completely out of here. So tomorrow morning, some flurries in 25, some light snow showers at noon, maybe mixing with some sleet and rain. High of 36 early in the day, and then we'll stay right around that freezing mark or above throughout the afternoon. This will be sticky snow, good for making a snowman or having a snowball fight with temperatures above the freezing mark. By 11.30, there's your rain-snow mix along the lakefront and then everybody starts to see the snow uh, move in uh, by late afternoon. Seven day forecast 36 degrees for tomorrow uh, 35 on Saturday with some flurry Saturday night into Sunday Sunday's 34 so both days are above freezing it's above normal and then there's your thaw getting close to 40 degrees almost every day next week. Boy I hope I was on time with that weather. That's eh, not the new year yet.